do you know how long it was firmly believed? I mean, not just firmly believed, it was absolutely a known truth that no one can run the mile in less than six minutes. Until someone did. Think about that for just a second. Was there some kind of barrier on the track that said nobody can run that fast? Was there some sort of gravity that said, nope, humans can only go this fast? Was there something in our molecular structure or bone structure or muscle structure that before a certain date there was no key turned, therefore no one could run that fast? No, is the answer. No, none of that. It wasn't gravity. It wasn't the law. It was nothing stopping humans from running a four-minute mile except the belief that no one could until someone did. And since then, hundreds, maybe thousands, have run a mile in less than four minutes. I want you to just think about that for a second. I'm J. Lauren Norris, and you're watching Leading Leaders Podcast. There are times in your life, there may be times this very day, that opportunity lies in front of you. Imagination comes up for a new business proposal or a new product to sell or a new way of conversing with a client or a new way to close that deal. And as the idea comes into your mind, another one collides with it like a head-on freight train. And the one that collides with it says, it's never been done before. It can't be done by, like, by that. And if it can be done like that, it's not going to be by you. It's so very seldom that the restraints in our life are outside us. Now, of course, there are those people who are naysayers and they pound us down with emotional will. And there are those red tapes and bureaucracies and government restrictions and and hindrances, if you will, to moving forward. And sometimes the worst thing for progress is progressivism. It's, a, it's the idea that if it wasn't my idea, it can't be a good one. And so it causes your ideas to get crushed beneath the weight of disbelief. Disbelief created by others and exacerbated in you. Or disbelief originating in you, that freight train running headlong into your new ideas. And there's only so many times that we can emotionally withstand having our ideas pounded into the ground, knocked off the track, held back by restraints and other people in, in government systems, in laws, where we feel like, what is the point of having a new idea? Why would I even come up with something new? What is the point of that? It will never succeed. And in that moment, our belief destroys our hope. If we believe that we can't do it, we can't do it because we won't do it. If we're thoroughly convinced that we will fail, then we're going to set ourselves up for failure. Why? Because it's easier to convince ourselves that we will fail and then prove it to be true than to believe that we can do what we've never done before. Because there's still a fear that I've never done it before. I, I might do it wrong. I've never done it before. I don't know if I'm the one that's supposed to do it. I don't know if I'm authorized to do it. I don't know if I have the power to do it. I don't have the imagination and the creativity to do it. Maybe, maybe I just have this idea and I'm supposed to pat somebody else on the back and say, good job, go get it. Let me just encourage you that if you have a new idea of a way to do things, a, a, a way to work through a process, a way to improve a system, a way to improve a relationship, to write a book, to, to build a house. If you have an idea of a new way, you are the guardian of that idea. You are the steward of that idea. That idea has come to this earth through you. It's yours. And by that very instilling of the idea, that trusting of the idea in you, you have been empowered to carry it out. Greater is the one that's in you than the one that's in the earth. That's conditional. 
That's not presumptive. That's conditional. And if you don't know the condition, call me or email me or message me and we'll talk about how can you know for certain that the one that's in you is greater than anything else? Because I, I know that secret. I'll be glad to share it with you. In the meantime, understand that the strongest barrier to any success that you're trying to create in your own life, a pay raise, a better job, a completed education, a better relationship at home, a better relationship in your faith, any one of those things, the greatest barrier is not somebody else. It's not some rule, some regulation, or some policy. The greatest barrier is between your ears. If you knew that, what would you do differently? Because, well, now you know. I'm Jay Lauren Norris with Leading Leaders Podcast for Tell It Like It Is TV. Have a blessed day.